right. Updates. This the Escalade now. As you can see, it's got a proper grill emblem on it now. It also has the proper fog lights on it now. That was 29 bucks. Those were 35 bucks. And I spent another nine dollars on two LED uh, two LED bulbs for in them. I think that one's kind of yeah, that one's kind of milked out. I wonder if I didn't seat that bulb in there properly. Have to check that. Uh, what I'm working on today is this. See how washed out that is? Now look at that one. Now I hit this with a um, plastic cleaner. Um, it's a Black Restore by Meguiar's. Um, I've also got that Plastic X, I think it's called. All right. This is what I usually use, the plastics. But I just hand rub this on there. Um, this is the stuff I was using today. Ultimate black. And like I said, that was that that I've done back there was just hand polishing it. I didn't have any buffer or anything like that just regular old elbow grease and a t-shirt a worn out t-shirt actually that's detailing the grain on there a little better too I might just have to use that. Let me put a little spot there. A little dabble of uh oops, it's a big dabble. Of course, if you want to see this in action. Since I spread it a little too thick right there, that's the difference that it leaves. So, now I can take these panels off one by one and just set it down on the tailgate and then polish them that way, which I may wind up doing, but uh, that's what I'm up to right now anyhow. Got a little, little something going on here. I'm going to try a little spot of that plastics. Matter of fact, well, let me use that up. I'm not going to waste it. And then I'll try the, I'll turn the camera back on and try a little spot of the plastics too, just to see. I shall return. Okay, I think we can all agree, this does an okay job, but of course, I'm not even close to using the right brush for that. That's actually a polishing wheel for the for like a Dremel or something for doing polishing like jewelry or something. It's a, a really closely matted um, polishing wheel. Anyway, this is the ultimate black. So it's this. This one, it needs to be run over better. That wheel just doesn't cut it. 
but I'll put a little bit more on the t-shirt that I'm using here and rub this out proper and then we'll try the plastics or plastics whatever you want to call it both made by Meguiar's they're both good products seem to be anyway um, I know that one is because uh, I've been using it for like headlights and all kind of stuff for years now and it just if it doesn't shine it at first just keep working with it and it will eventually um, that's a really good polish but uh, I'm gonna do another little patch here I'm gonna touch this up with the t-shirt get it all even looking and then this half I'll do with the plastics and see if there's a difference I got a feeling it's gonna be about the same I'm pretty sure this one's getting its turn right here I'll clean this all up with the t-shirt and that polish and then we'll do the the patch of the um, the plastics here and kind of compare them side to side and see which one's better or which one does a more thorough job I'm not putting any major effort into scrubbing these things just kind of a light polishing motion or light circular motion to get it all looking nice and that's it I mean that's kind of what I did over here and you can see the difference over there between the two that's washed out so I want to bring them back a little bit and this black uh, ultimate black seems to do the job but it's a lot of work because even if you're only putting a light pressure on it it still wear you down after a while but anyway let me touch this back up and then we'll start over here on the plastics okay now you can see it's a little more even now that I've rubbed on it a little bit with the t-shirt that's that and I did go over the end a little bit so you can see just a, a couple of little lights uh, brushes past the edge of the of where I was actually uh, stopping before and it pretty much just cleans it right up too I mean it doesn't take a whole lot of effort <coughs> but when you're not used to doing anything it it'll win you still <laughs> fat guy gotta learn to get skinny again I guess but anyhow uh, now we're gonna tackle this part with the plastics and I'm not gonna bore you with the whole doing it with the um, well, I can spread it on here that stuff spreads really well so um, I'm not gonna use the drill I mean I can show you a little bit with the drill but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be yeah, this, this takes a little bit more work than the, the, the other stuff and it's not making it's not polishing it out as black it is polishing it but it's not coming out black like that. Let's get a different part of the shirt so we're not intermingling the... Well, that's wet from earlier today. I'm wanting it to be just the polish or just the two polishes of their own. I don't want any one corrupting the other. <clears throat> of course I did do along the, the edges of it too. working but it's also not as dark as that this is polishing it it doesn't look as washed out but it's not 
looking as good as that. I'll rub on it a little more off camera. And, uh, well, there, maybe you can see it a little better. Just not as dark. So, for this kind of thing, I'm leaning real hard towards the ultimate black. That kind of sucks that I gotta lean towards ultimate black. I was hoping that I was gonna pull off the um, hoping I was gonna get to rain this one as a, or crown this one as a champ because <clears throat> I use it for all kinds of other stuff. I was hoping that was gonna be it, but it doesn't look like it. Well, I'll hit this one a little more with the drill. But I'm leaning real hard towards that being what's going to resolve the issue with this looking all washed out. Kind of disappointing, actually. Anyway, I'm going to go rub on it a little bit more and I'll be back. Okay, after several more minutes of rubbing it, ah, with quite a bit of force, you can see it's not as washed out as that over there but it's still not as dark as that right there either. So, I think if you need the black, uh, which is what this is actually supposed to be, dark gray black, that's your polish. <clears throat> if you just need to shine something up, whether it be a clear lens or, um, even a, a brake light, I've seen them work on that real well too. Then uh, that'll do. So, there you have it. Uh, this is nine, nine or ten dollars. I think it's nine dollars at uh, Advance. That's where I got it today. And this. This was either eight or nine bucks too, but you can use this for a lot of different things, not just this kind of stuff. So, anyway, you can uh, see, I mean, even after rubbing on it with a while and overlapping these two, you can still see a defined line right here. So, looks like that one's the winner. Ultimate black. Anyhow, that's all I got for now. Um, haven't really done anything to the inside of this truck, so I don't have any of that to show you. Uh, inside, still just basically the inside. I mean, like I said, I got my, I got a few things figured out about it, but um, nothing super spectacular. I mean, leather interior. Still got the plastic over the front uh, floor mats, which is beautiful because that keeps the uh, keeps the mud off of the carpet. Of course, the back ones are not so not so nice because the carpet's actually exposed. But I've I've only had uh, one group of people in my back seat so far, so and they had clean feet when I got in there, so that's still in decent shape. Anyhow, well, it still needs some work, but that's after about 30 minutes of rubbing on it, which just, uh, um, I did kind of go over this again to get it the same color, but it didn't get this nasty overnight. It's not going to fully clean up like it needs to overnight either. So... But I finally figured something out. There was a dash light or a button on the dash that I kept pushing and not seeing a light light up. Well, it kept saying uh, cabin light or bed light. I was expecting to see something under that ridge there. Uh -uh. Right there. So you can be in here you could be in here 
with the back of the cab in and still see everything just fine. Now there's supposed to be some straps that go over here to where you can put all these um, bed cover pieces up against this wall and strap them in. Problem is, there's no straps that came with this truck for that. But the thing I do love, you got plenty of these little D-rings to tie stuff in with. Front and rear both. And you got extra spots that you can tie stuff into the, the bed down there. On either side, there's a big, thick, heavy floor mat that's got a rock in it that needs to be taken out and wash all that nastiness up but I mean it's it's thick it's not and yes the all this that's in here is from me because I use it as a truck as well as the, the luxury vehicle it's intended to be I guess I thought this was kind of neat how it's got the it looks like four-wheeler tread and it's on the tailgate too anyway but all of this locks up unfortunately it's not an automatic lock you still have to put the key in it and turn it and I'm sure there's a way to get around that lock easy enough too but I mentioned in my other video when I the night I went to get our, our dishwasher and stove that the guy at the uh, Sears outlet in South Nashville actually scratched my truck that right there is what he done he rolled that two-wheel dolly on there because he's too lazy to reach over or let me do it and scrape the fire out of my truck and, I mean you can see that's that's got grooves in it concrete grooves that's not something you can just sand it back down smooth and then throw another painted coat on it and not realize it's there but that's fiberglass too so it's not like it's gonna rust so no big deal anyway that's pretty much the long and short of what I've done with this truck since I've had it so need to tackle the interior next because they cleaned it up a little bit at the car lot not that much this thing was nasty and it had old worn out tires on it old michelins with the inner uh um the inside wall of the tires are worn down bald now we've moved those to the back so it's not going to be as big of an issue I can still drive the truck at least until I can get my mags that come in tomorrow and I did order the ones that I uh, well those of you that are friends Facebook friends with me have seen them already I put a picture up, picture up here of them again <laughs> but um i'm gonna put those mags in some not as tall tires to where maybe they won't rub on here i think these are two 275 where are they well dang they're so dirty right now from the mud in the yard i can't really see uh, 265.70.17 so figure, figure if I put a 255 on it because they were talking about I'd need a, like a one inch spacer or something on it or body kit um, to put those on my truck because it's got the deeper offset wheel <clears throat> I figure maybe at the very worst some spacers but the thing I love about these trucks 
you can see right in there looking a little hole in the wheel in there that's not a drum four-wheel disc brakes thank the good lord because uh <laughs> i'm tired of dealing with drum brakes got drum brakes on the tahoe over there and wheel cylinders keep blowing out on it of course i keep buying the el cheapos but <clears throat> anyway um oh one other thing i do need to get is that rear emblem that one is about as washed out as i've ever seen one just a shield i don't need the this uh wreath so i gotta find that shield and that's probably the three i'm gonna say it's about the same size as the one on the front let's take a look and see yeah uh-oh i'm gonna have to get something hold that on that's about to come off dang it I mean, it's on there right but not holding on there oh god always something anyway so i'll probably uh have to get two shields now like i said that one's the same size as the one on the front so i guess i can just order two of those and i should be good part of the problem with that one on the front is it's bowed and it needs to be flat like this one You hear the coyotes? Better yet, you see the rain? Yeah, we gotta get this inside. I can't afford for this one to get messed up. Even though I still got warranty on it. Um, that don't mean I wanna take it down there and partake of it. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for tonight anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, make, uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already um, leave a comment down below I'd, I'd appreciate it uh, I enjoy hearing from all y'all and I do my best to answer every single comment that's posted there um, as long as I've got a channel I always will that's just how I am hopefully I'm, I'm able to give you some helpful information and not just all opinion but That's all for now. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.